Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome, I'm Brooke. So today we are kicking off another vlog, so welcome back. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe below, give you a big thumbs up, and let's get into it. So today we have a pretty fun day ahead of us. In a little bit, we're gonna go head to a few traditional Indian clothing stores and find some nice attire to wear to uh, one of my very best friend's wedding. She's getting married this fall and it's five days and every day is like themed so we need a certain type of or certain like color type of outfit and we both have one outfit already because we started shopping last year because they were going to get married last year in california but fire season and their venue burned to the ground so now they they had to move their wedding to this year so now we need to go get the other outfits so we need to get four more and I'm hoping we can find all of the outfits today, but uh, more realistically, probably find one or two. So there are a number of different stores that sell that kind of like attire throughout Sacramento, which I was surprised because I've never seen one, but I've also never looked for one. But yay, we don't have to drive far. <laughs> and then later tonight, we are going to a River Cats game. If you guys are not familiar, the River Cats are the minor league baseball team in Sacramento. It's, well, it's technically in West Sac. But anyway, we are going there tonight, really excited. We have seats behind the dugout, so we're gonna get there early and we're going to get like jerseys or like shirts and stuff because we don't have any like River Cats gear and we wanna be festive. So we're gonna get there early, get our attire, have a good get up. And then um, I believe they have like, um, in this section, they have some like food and stuff for people that are in that area. So we're gonna get some snacks, maybe get a drink or two and it's gonna be a great night. So I'll be bringing you guys along and I'm really excited. Also because of that, I'm wearing like the like least material type of shirt that I own because once we buy the shirts over there in like the sales bag, we're gonna have to put our own shirts and I don't wanna carry around something bulky. So I was like, okay, if I wear something like the smallest material size shirt that I have, then I can stick that in there and I don't have to carry something bulky around all night. So planning ahead, I've got a strategy and yeah, I'm stoked. So let's go. So I just finished editing the video that goes up before this one and we're exporting now. We are 47% done and wow, my screen is like super dirty. Ooh, I need to clean that. So last week, my dreams came true. Um, from when we first looked at this house before we even bought it, one of the first things I noticed was this like 50, 60 foot palm tree, okay? And all the trees around here, like not just our house, the, the area is like oak trees, olive trees, fruit trees, like there's a vibe, okay? And then there's this palm tree. What are you doing here? You don't belong. We are at the beach. You look weird and you stand out like a sore thumb. And you know what, it might have been taller than six. I don't know. It was very tall, very obnoxious, stuck out like a sore thumb. And I've been wanting to get rid of it. Yeah, since we first saw the house. Last week, we got it removed. It is gone. It is gone. We got it cut down. It was actually super intense. They like cut the base and then like with the rope, pulled it down into the yard. And then, um, yeah, they hauled it away. And then a day or two later, they came back and like ground out the stump. And then on another part of our, so that one was like one of those thinner, skinny, tall palm trees. And then we had another that were, another palm tree that was like super like stubby, like super wide. Like I couldn't even wrap my arms around it, but it was also short, like maybe my height. And that was removed also. And I am just as happy as I could possibly be because I actually hate palm trees if it's not in a tropical area. So all my dreams coming true took over a year, but I hope you guys are happy for me because I'm stoked. Okay, this is the first one. It's a little big, but it's very pretty. Oh my gosh, I love this one. It would need to be tailored to fit me, but wow. I feel like a princess. Ooh, 
guys, we found all of our outfits at the first store that we tried because they also owned a second store across the street. So between those two, we bought everything. So we're ready to go. Guys, I'm stoked. Oh my gosh. Okay, so shopping for those Indian clothes, so cool, so awesome. Also, they all kept trying to speak um, different like Indian dialects to me. Obviously, I don't know any of those. I don't even know Spanish. Um, but yeah, of course, as usual, every time I meet or like I go into like an Indian establishment, people always think that I'm Indian. Or if I meet Indian people, they always think that I'm Indian. I just give the vibe. It's happened my entire life. Everyone always assumes that. Um, but anywho, it was awesome. All of the outfits were just incredible. Um, they didn't allow photos or anything in the shops, so I wasn't able to like bring you guys along for like that aspect of the shopping experience, just like the dressing rooms and stuff. But those are the outfits that I bought. So the colorful like pastel -y one, not the first one I tried on. The first one I tried on, I didn't get. The second one I tried on, I did get, but um, I left it there because they're doing alterations because it was too big. And then the black one I showed you, um, I tried on like two other ones that I didn't show you guys because um, I forgot, sorry. Um, but the all black one, I did get that, but they're making it, uh, they have to make it regardless. So I'm having it made in emerald because the day that I need to wear that for is supposed to be like colors. I think you're supposed to do like bright colors, but that's not really my thing. Like even the pastel one was beautiful. Um, but it's kind of a bit out of my comfort zone. Um, so for the color one, I wanted to feel confident and I don't really feel that confident in like very bright colors. So I'm going with emerald. And then for Darren's outfits, I didn't show you guys because um, his, he just tried on like over his like shirts and stuff um, because their attire guys don't really have to change to try it on. Um, and yeah, no video or photos in the like showroom if you will um but he the guys ones also have to be made so all of his are being made to just match what i'm wearing basically so um yeah i'm really excited and then for the other days i need to wear black and then another day i need to wear yellow so i bought both of those dresses on lululemon so those will be here next week and then i need to bring the yellow into the store so that they can color match his outfit since they have the other two outfits, they're able to color match, no issue. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to bring the dress that I'm wearing. But I'm so excited. I thought I was gonna have to go to a number of different stores, that this was gonna take several shopping trips, and somehow it all came together at one store. They just had everything. And they were super sweet, super accommodating. The store owner, he ended up being the one that like helped us out. And the second store that we went to across the street of his, so the first we went to was like, um like all the outfits and stuff but the one across the street was like bridal and um like a little higher it was definitely higher scale or higher end um stuff and that one is by appointment only but because he was like the owner and we were kind of explaining like what we're trying to find and stuff and that we're kind of on a bit of like a time crunch um it's several months out but it has to be custom made um, so he was like, okay, well, you guys came in while I'm here, so it's your lucky day. Like, I'll take you guys over and let you try things on anyway. Um, so that was bomb diggity. We didn't have to have an appointment because we got lucky. Um, yeah, everything just like fell into place. So loving that. I feel like we just manifested that and got it out of the way, feeling fabulous about it. Um, we need to leave in just over an hour for the River Cats game. And I'm really excited about it. All right guys, heading out to the ball game. We had to bring a small purse. So I've transferred my stuff in here. I unfortunately can't fit my glasses case, so I guess I'm gonna have to carry my glasses the whole time. But I'm switching to my phone because I cannot fit the camera in here. So I will see you guys at the ball game.
got this jersey from the shop. Super cute, loving it. Ready to go enjoy the game. Hey guys, it's the next morning and I realized that I did not end the video yesterday. So after the game, we came home and it was pretty late. We were planning on going um, like right down the street to a place called Drake's where they have like beers and they have like pizza and the pizza's really good, really cool environment. But it, it was like getting so late. We decided just to head home. We ordered DoorDash, we got Thai food. I got drunken noodles, which I love. And then we ate and watched The Mentalist because that has been our show recently. But it was so much fun. Okay, so yesterday, okay, so we had dugout seats, which basically means we were right behind home base. So we got to see everything, which was super cool. And then Dinger, who is the Rubber Cats mascot, kept coming and like visiting. Also, we got access, because we had the dugout seats, we got access to like an upstairs lounge where like they have like a full bar and maybe there's one person in front of you in line, but you don't have to wait in those huge lines like there is downstairs. So basically it's like express access to like your drinks. And then they also have free like unlimited like sodas and waters, popcorn. So that was super cool. And then they also have private bathrooms for those groups. So you never have to wait in a bathroom line. So it was a really cool experience. We had never done that before, but absolutely loved it. It was so much fun. And um, oh my gosh, so Darren was like using the bathroom and I was waiting for him and I was looking at my phone. I was, we, we were down by like the, where the refrigerators are that have like the drinks and popcorn and stuff. And I look up and Dinger's just like right there staring at me. It scared the crap out of me. I like jumped back into the refrigerator and like, it, it was, I yeah, like accidentally caused like a bit of a scene by with that because I almost like knocked the fridge down, but I was so startled because it's like huge, which I didn't realize. I guess I've never taken a picture with Dinger. Anywho though, we had so much fun at the game. So glad we went. So you guys saw the jerseys that we had. And then I also got a pin. So whenever like I travel or um, like go to new places or fun events and stuff, I always get a pin and I have lanyards that show like all of my, you know, travels and experiences and stuff. And it's just a cool way that I like to remember things. So I got a pin, super excited about that. Um, but I am getting ready to head out to work. So I've got to get going and I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys again so, so much for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe below, give this video a big thumbs up, and don't forget to tune in next week for another vid. I'll see you guys then.